take out all these bitches and make it still hating. What is going on guys? Hope you're all having an amazing day. It is another beautiful morning, lovely South Florida. We're about to start off our day by going to the post office. So let's give a few shout outs. Shout out to Steven, shout out to Peter, and shout out to Antonio. Your packages are going on their way. They actually caught from yesterday's drop. If you didn't see yesterday's haul from Plato's Closet, make sure you guys check it out. Such fire stuff. All brand new with tags. We have Stussy, we have Play Clothes, we have, um, what else do we have? I don't know, you guys have to check it out. Check in the new inventory column for all the new inventory that's been uploaded in the past couple days. Since yesterday we got so lucky at Plato's Closet, I'm actually gonna go to another Plato's Closet right now, as well as there are a couple Goodwills around the area, so we'll hit up a nice trip to the thrift. But let's get today started, guys, let's get it. Got my dog Cavs in here, he's all nervous, he's blocking the door, he doesn't want me to go. You got an eye booger, guy. I know you don't want me to go, you just wanna play. You just want to play. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Look at the camera, guy. People love to see your face. They say you make their day. You're making everyone's day. You're making my day. You're making people's day. Come on, guy. <laughs> And I know a couple of you guys said you guys liked yesterday's intro of like the outfit of the day. To be honest, I was going to a mall, so that's kind of why I dressed up. But we live in Florida, it is hot as hell. So today I'm just rocking this Lego piece. I actually thrifted this, it's such a fire piece. It's like a skeleton on half of it and then just a Lego piece. Gym shorts. So it's another hot day in South Florida. We always wear gym shorts and t-shirts. Like, I really wish that I lived somewhere where colder because I would love to dress up. Like, all you guys in New York, they can wear like tons of layers and whatnot. I, I dream of that, but it is what it is, so. I used to be violent, but now I'm Bill Gating. Got a list for the problems. I tend to later, man. Life is a bitch, but I appreciate it, man. All that bitches and niggas still hating, man. I used to be violent, but now I'm Bill Gating. Got a Pulling up to Plato's closet now. Guys, another success. As you can see, we're leaving with a bunch of things. A bunch of A-Life. We got a couple staple shirts. Uh, we got some wrap t-shirts. I don't think they're vintage. They're definitely new age, but they're so sick you can't pass them up. So let's hit up some Goodwills now. All right, enough with overpaying at Plato's Closet because not gonna lie, Plato's Closet definitely rapes, but I do it for you guys. I help you guys. So let's hope we got some nice finds at the Goodwill. They are literally playing Christmas music, guys, right now. Like, can you guys hear this? It Like, it's November. Come on. Why are you playing Christmas music? So the first piece of find of today is a Nautica size XL in the color blocking sweater. And if you notice, there is elastic on the sleeves as well as this, so it is a nice comfort fitting fit. Green, navy, and red. Little Nautica sailboat right there. So we just found this size XL Stussy in the lime green. We're on the world tour. Cottonmouth Kings world tour. Pot leaves all on the back. This is a size large. So just by looking at this, it looks like a plain shirt with paint on it, and someone did rip the size tag off. But if you actually look, it is a Mochino shirt, which this brand goes for a lot of money. So straight off the rolling rack, we got this Michigan starter coat. All right, guys, that was a good find. Now we're gonna hit up another Goodwill, maybe a Salvation, I'm not sure what's in the area. We'll Google and let's look. So this Goodwill actually has very fair prices. Last time I was in here, uh, we definitely left with a big amount of stuff. And this is where I found the Beavis and Butthead poster. 
and that was super fire. So I'm hoping that they have another goodies, hoping no one knows about this spot and that's why they have a lot of stuff, but we shall see. So we just found this nice burgundy size XL crew neck and the USA flags. Burgundy size large Bentrill shirt. As you notice, he has gray polka dots and on the back, Bentrill number 13. So I was so excited to get this because it is a size XL, so I was gonna add it to the pack, but unfortunately, if you notice, there is paint stains all over this thing, so we're gonna have to pass. All right, guys, we're leaving with uh, two, three t-shirts and one crew neck. So a few people have been telling me, not online, but in local, like in person, a few, been, a few people have been telling me to check out this thrift store. It's not a Goodwill, it's not a Salvation Army, and usually I'm hesitant on those just because you know, I don't, obviously I don't like to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time with the video. Those, those little thrift stores, sometimes they have the best things, but sometimes they have literally nothing. So I heard this store is actually pretty decent. So we're going to go try that and see what they have. And then if they don't have anything, we're just going to head home just because it is 4.30 right now, which means my day is over. I wonder, I'm sure you guys are wondering like, you stop at 4.30 and the reason is, is cause I always upload the night of. So what I do is I go home right now, I'll have some dinner or a late lunch, I'll upload the inventory that I found today and then I'll edit and upload the video. So if I go any later, let's say I thrift till seven, eight at night, you guys won't get a video till like five in the morning the following day. So that's the reason why I usually stop around four, 4.30. Um, I figure if I'm home before 5, then I can usually get the video up around... It depends. Honestly, it's all YouTube, you know? Sometimes I'll have my video done and edited at 6.30, but it takes uh, like two hours to like process and upload just because it is such a long video. So let's hope that they have something good. If not, then we'll just head back home. So this is actually kind of funny. I was literally just watching Snapchat and someone just got Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. I was like, oh my God, what would I do for a Chick-fil-A right now? And the only one that I know of is by my house. And right now I am probably about 30 minutes from my house. And what, uh, and what do I find as I'm driving? First find a Sonic Beach, which Sonic Beach is pretty fire too. You know, you can get the Sorry, this old lady's like trying to cross the road and she's like watching me, like cross the road, lady. So, so long behold, what do I know? A Chick-fil-A right here. So we're gonna go in quick, grab some nuggets. You know them, you can't beat Chick-fil-A crispy chicken tender nuggets, you know, those and the honey mustard, woo! Don't get me started. So we're about to go do that and then we'll presume to the trip to the thrift store. So not gonna lie, this store seems like it's very busy. There is no parking lot, so let's see what they got. First piece we found, this FSU Florida State vintage windbreaker with the color blocking. So we found this really nice Nike piece. If you notice, that has zippers like crazy, and it is the puffer goose style. Uh, this is definitely a warm style jacket, and this is a size XL. Brand new with the tags, by the way. All right, guys, so we came up on a little thing. So now we're just gonna quickly jump back home and get into the trip hall. Let's get it. Dan! Captain! <laughs> Yeah, that's your chew toy. That's your chew toy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, little guy. Okay. <laughs> what up, buddy? All right, guys, so quickly jumping into today's haul. Like I said, there is a lot of stuff, so let's just get right into it. Started off, we got this size large, but it seems like 
it will definitely fit a medium and the different color marijuana leaves all over. Everything you should see will be on my website for sale as well as yesterday's stuff is already for sale and it's selling fast. So make sure you guys check out the link down below if you want to purchase anything. Guys, medium FSU windbreaker with the color block and as you can see maroon, white, yellow back to maroon with the seminal patch right there. This jacket is very nice and it's brand new with tags from Nike. Original price isn't on here, somebody ripped it off. I'm guessing it was a gift. They didn't like it so they just gave it to Goodwill. This is a size extra large. It is a very heavy jacket. It's like the poof guff. It's like the goose style puffer jacket and like this light blue colorway with a pocket on the front. Very nice jacket. Perfect for like the cold states. This is awesome. And then you actually got Nike branded on the sleeve. This is pretty cool. At first I thought it was Olympics, but it's not. It's USA and then all the country flags around it. This is a size extra large. Another size XL. We got this Mickey shirt. As you can see Mickey with the little Mickey Mouse in it. I feel like the colors on this shirt was so nice. But as you can see, it is a Warner Brothers Studio shirt. This is a size large. Then we have the Tasmanian Devil. You guys can pause and read if you want. It's hard for me to read when it's upside down. This shirt doesn't seem like it's ever been washed. Size large, we got this Ben Trill and the burgundy with gray polka dots all over. And then on the sleeve, we have the number sign. And then on the right side, we have number 13. On the back, it does say Ben Trill, number 13, again with the gray polka dots. Got this very nice, this is a size XL. I try it on though, it might keep it in the personal stash if it's not too big on me. But we got this A-Life hoodie, and if you notice, it's all like quilted. If you guys can see that, it's all, oh, can you? Yeah, as you guys can see, it's like quilted. This material is super soft. A-Life tag, size XL. And then we got on the sleeve, another A-Life size large, YMCMB, cash money records, YMCMB. And this is a legit shirt. Like it's legit from merch, YMCMB. It's not like a reprint. Brand new with tags, as you can see from Paxon actually. We have this Young and Reckless baseball tee. This is a size medium. And usually I don't buy Young and Reckless stuff, but it was brand new with tags and there's like patches all over, so I felt like it was sick. So you can see this is the front. And then on the back, got 86 Reckless. Again, this is like a baseball tee. So it's like three fourths on the elbows. It isn't vintage, but I figured it was such, it was still a sick shirt. You got Notorious B.I.G. in his famous colorful sweater. This is a size small for all you small people. Again, another shirt that I don't usually cop, but I felt like it was such a nice shirt. We have a Santa Cruz. This is a size medium in like the tie-dye color print with the symbol right there. And then on the back, we have the hand. shirt I might try on and if it fits me I'm keeping it because the colors are so sick I was talking about it yesterday but look Thrasher we got the maroon with like the aqua blue Thrasher again this is a size medium usually you don't see this colorway too often you always see like the typical orange or white and black Thrasher I never see a burgundy with like an aqua blue it's not vintage again this is a reprint but is a legit reprint from Nirvana it's not like a Hanes t-shirt as you can see, we have Nirvana in blue and a big picture on the front. This is a size medium. Another size medium. We're just striking out with mediums from yesterday and today. But we got this odd future in like the watermelon print. And then on the back, OF in the watermelon print again. This shirt seems like it's brand new. Size large staple. 
as you can see the little pigeon right there and then a huge graphic on the front do a little close-up on that size large another a life shirt but this has like money in between it size extra large a life in like the usa american flag colorway now i usually see a life shirts for like 30 to 40 dollars and I've asked a couple of my friends around here, like, yo, do you know where they sell A-Life locally? And they're like, to be honest, I've never heard of that. So if you guys have heard of A-Life, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know if it's like a, I don't know if it's like an underground brand or if it's like Diamond Supply, not as hyped up anymore or what, but I do know their shirts are expensive. So that's why I keep copying the A-Life stuff. And if you guys, if this is for some reason like a general release shirt, just comment down below and say, Milio, stop copying A-Life stuff. But I honestly think like, it's just a simple like nice colorway. And the stuff I've been finding is pretty fire, so. I had one of these shirts when they first released. I wanna say back in 2011, 2010, when I was still in high school. But it's the monster shirt with like the monster drips going down, all embroidered like DC Racing, Ford. There is slight cracking because this is an old shirt, but honestly like, it's crazy how much printing they have on this thing. This is a size large. Size extra large, we found another Stussy today. And the lime green says we're on world tour. Found this as they were rolling the racks out. And you always have to check the rolling racks, especially when they're pulling it out, just because you never know what's gonna be on here. I was literally walking by it and this caught my eye. Luckily I did, because if I didn't, I would have definitely passed this up. But we got a starter, Michigan. So you can see the blue navy on the front. It does have the Michigan, and it does have some pockets right there. And then on the back, we have starter, and then a huge Michigan patch. This is a size XL. It's not like my other starter jacket. It's like my other starter jacket I have, I can't get to it, but this is like a light, this is like a, almost like a windbreaker material. Um, it's definitely light. It's not like the goose poofer style jacket that usually starters like this usually have. Size large, Polo Ralph Lauren, and the yellow and navy. And then we have the pinstripes going around the sleeve as well as the neck. You can see vintage tag right there. A more of a dressy shirt rather than just sticking to like a regular polo shirt. And Mouth Kings World Tour. Then on the back it has the marijuana leaves going around with the lab the dates first glance I literally thought like what is this white shirt with like all these paint splatters on it's not legit plain like it's actually screen printed on or not screen printed but like that's how the shirt comes but like, if you look at it, it just like looks paint all over but if you actually look at the sleeve it says mochino I believe that's how you pronounce it that word right there if you guys google that word right there you guys will see shirts going for like $150 $300 so this is definitely a high fashion brand shirt and it's crazy because like I said if you didn't know of that patch you would have never known because someone ripped off the size tag and from looks at it it's about a medium guys the final piece today we did get this color block nautica fleece pullover as you can see the little boat right there with the green the navy and the red and one thing I really like about this jacket is that on the sleeves or the couplings it's like elastic so it is going to be that fitted tight look as well as on the bottom it does have the elastic so it's not going to be like a baggy fit it is going to be a nice fitted fit and you know you can't go wrong with this it's such such a clean sweater that actually wraps up today's trip to the thrift I hope you guys enjoy if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up Check the link down below. Everything you saw will be for sale, as well as I have about 400 items on my inventory right now, guys. So make sure you guys check out everything. Um, if there's any, if there's any issues on pricing, or if there's any, or if you guys want to purchase them both, just send me a DM at ditr954, and I'll definitely hook you up. Thank you guys so much for everyone that is putting orders in. I'm shipping out the next day, if not the day of. Someone just placed an order. I literally rushed to the post office and shipped it out. So try to ship out within 12 to 24 hours of, of buying it. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for another EMC vlog. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We post daily vlogs. Don't forget, let's get it, guys. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. All these bitches and niggas still hating. I used to be falling, but now I'm still dating. Got a list for